Ariad. So we are talking about the talks between talks between Ramananda Rai and Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sorry. could be around this time, maybe still a little too early for the talks of Ramanand Rai and Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. A little later, a little later in the evening, every day, They would get together, it says, in secluded place. I think we are also a little secluded from all else that goes on. We are kind of outskirts here. An enclosure also, a little secluded. And then they would talk and talk. Like all night long. As kirtans would go on and on at Srivas Angan. Huh? Srivas Angan, right? Did you get that right? We had been reminding, not Angam, Angam. Not Srivas Angam, but Angarna. Uh, sound system? Someone? So far so good. This is okay. Uh, too loud? No. Good here in the back? Okay. So as those nocturnal kirtans, it says nocturnal, all night long, kirtans would go on at Srivas Angarn, courtyard or house of Srivas Thakur. Yeah, something similar, these talks would go on all night long. They would forget sleeping. They would just talk. Once they would get together and begin talking, and then would go on. Their talks were very well. We were waking them up, waking them up, shaking them up, and stirring their emotions. Why sleep and waste the valuable lifetime? They are making best use of the time, lifetime, the night time, by hearing. So they also, we could easily say that. They are Shravan Utsa going on. Yes, we also have Shravan Utsav. So these ideas of Shravan Utsav, hearing festival, or festival or feast for the years. Or this feast also for the tongue, for someone who is speaking, this feast for his tongue. One who is hearing the feast for those years. 
So that was how went on on the banks of Godavari at Vidyanagar, it says Rajamandri, present day Rajamandri. There's also a place called Kovur, where uh, right on the bank of well, Godavari, the, the heart. where Pai Ramanand had come was sitting in palanquin and then later on he had he was meant to take bath so that place is Kohur and there uh, the talks would go on in the in the region I, I can't exactly say <laughs> but there is a Gaudiya Mat on the banks of Godavari we went there during Padhyatra and other times also where uh, there's Gaudiya Mat an exact location where Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu which is part of the tomorrow's presentation uh, what Mahaprabhu did yeah, he, he gave darshan very special darshan to Rai Ramanand he suddenly in place of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu there was Krishna and Radha so that location, there is a Gaudiya Mat. In 1972, Srila Prabhupada had also visited that Gaudiya Mat location, or the exact location where this Samvad, Rai Ramanam, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Samvad, Samvad, nice dialogue, Samvad. Otherwise, it could be vad vivad is a word of arguments and fight and disputes. That's called vad vivad, vivad. But this is some vad, wholesome dialogue. So, uh, and then Prabhupada, Sri Prabhupada had come, 72, came to Mayapur that year and ISKCON's first year festival was held in Mayapur. So, 72 was a visit, in the year that Sri Prabhupada visited Prabhupada's god brother Puri Maharaj, that is his ashram. So later on, Puri Maharaj also had come to join Prabhupada here during Mayapur festival. So, uh, so that is where they would get together, Ramanandrai, Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So dialogue has already begun. So we'll we'll just continue. And this dialogue covers the entire chapter of Madhilila, chapter eighth which is one of the very long chapters in Chaitanya Charita Amrit. And not only it is long chapter, but it is also very deep 
chapters are very high subject matter is dealt with dealt yeah in these chapters so uh, so what could be what they talked all night long for night after night after night what could we say in an hour, an hour and a half for uh, three three nights three evenings and of course we have our our limitations each bird uh, flies at certain height sparrow at this height and the kite at that height and another bird at that height so uh, this bird sitting in front of you has limitations we all have our limitations and uh, we cannot fly high that high or go that deep or dive deeper into the subject matter the way Rai Ramanand and Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu well first huh. anyway also very much possible yesterday also we saw that they embrace each other and all the symptoms of ecstasy were visible and their voices choked up kiba shiva shuka narada preme gada gad Oh, it's also Premier God of God, 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 getting choked up. So, Narad Muni coming, here comes Lord Shiva attending Arati Kesho Bharati, attending Arati of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. They are playing their own, their Veena, Veena, and Dim 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 Damru, and they are dancing and uh, singing and their voices get choked up and they are not able to sing or they fall on the ground, roll on the ground and who knows how much time they are in that state, unconscious state who knows how many hours they were just unconscious when they got back uh, got external uh, consciousness then the dialogue again continues where they had left off maybe some time ago and uh, like that very much possible they were spending their nights so it's not all talk but they would again of course we could say that they were walking the talk huh? walk the talk walk the talk influenced by the talks or if the talk if that could be called as jnyan knowledge then that they would implement that uh, practice that and vijnyan the experience hmm? experience of it yeah Sridhar Swami Maharaj the commentator on Bhagavad, you know, you know, Bhagavad Gita also I think that's where he says this Gyan means knowledge you derive from scriptures 
for instance that is nyan but when you experience that realize that then that is vijnan so these two great souls well one great soul and one greatest of all the souls or soul of the soul super soul supreme soul sri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu so when they are talking who could understand their mind or in such a state of mind why all this i my attention goes to that translation the tranada bi suni chena and the translation in english ends with in such a state of mind one could chant the holy name of the lord how how long constantly in such a state of mind state of mind referring to humility and tolerance and respecting others not expecting any respect for oneself yeah someone could turn off this fan for me <clears throat> so uh so yesterday we did not see anyone trembling or falling off the chair maybe only if they're dozing this possible or just stunned how long is maharaj going to go on i'm just how long maybe for that reason you're you're stunned or krishna so uh, i think i'm talking of the the level or the depth of the the understanding and then realization of the everything is turned off now <laughs> yeah let me let's, let's see this in such a state fanless state one could read chaitanya charitamrita constantly <sighs> i am not a fan of the fan oh, no 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 thoda yeah. not directly on me no yeah okay all right so uh, anyway like this time goes on so we'll we'll continue and uh and certainly don't expect that we we cover the entire text or in this chapter we'll be yeah we'll touch and go and summarize and skip and run through like that <clears throat> and yeah certainly we are just opening a topic introducing this topic and then you should certainly now make this your homework of Uh, reading through not only reading but studying that's better mm, reading is one thing but studying is yet another thing right one reads newspaper 
like that. But one studies scriptures. So we are all students. So we should be studying. So study this subject matter and we need to we will have to go through this over again and again and again and each time you will the more subject matter would be revealed unto you unto us so uh, in one go it is not going to be realize fully but certainly every time this time also divya gyan ride prakashito divya gyan would appear manifest okay so uh, prabhu kahe so we will uh, continue yesterday's uh, kind of style or i will i'll read bangla chalega ha huh? ki daudega so when i read bangla which i am i'm not very good at it because this is not my mother tongue and i'm just a student i i, I don't do good job <laughs> and uh, but i'm a student so it tells of i get to practice reading so bengali devotees could tolerate me my pronunciation and uh, yeah so was thinking this dialogue certainly was spoken in this language so uh, so we go uh, it's the original original language or the matter that was spoken uh, in yeah the, the language that it was spoken in so we'll use that language and try to make some yeah some translation some some comments <coughs> so uh the very first inquiry or when yeah mahaprabhu is a inquirer and rai ramanand is a speaker in this dialogue pada shloka sadhir nirnay said please state the yeah the sadhya what is the goal and while you state say what the goal is what the prayojan sadhya or destination is then you also pada shlok you also should recite a shlok to substantiate your your claim or your statement so every time चैतन्य महापुर ये हो बाह्य दिस इज एक्सटर्नल ओनली आगे कह आर से मोर सो ईच टाइम राय रामानन से इज अबाउट द नेक्स्ट सार देन ही गिव्स आल्सो वन एग्जांपल वन कोटेशन फ्रॉम या सम स्क्रिप्चर ही वाज आस्क्ड टू डू दैट Pada slok, sadhera nirnaya. Slok, you know, slok, hmm? slok. 
this, this verse. Different slokes, on different folks, different slokes, they say. Or different folks, different slokes. So for different sadhya statement, different slok. So different things were proposed and uh, Mahaprabhu was not happy with many of those proposed sadhyas or conclusions. But then, when he mentioned jnana shunya bhakti, bhakti devoid of knowledge, or Lord's greatness, Lord's opulence, free from that. Then he said, oh, this, this is okay. Age kaha. Say something more. Raya kahe dasya prema sarva sadhyasar. <coughs> then Raya Ramanan said, dasya. Dasya Prem is essence of of all. Oh. Essential truth, essential goal. And then he is he has given quotation, Raya Ramanan. Yan Yanama Shruti Matrena Puman Bhavati Niramalaha by chanting name, just by chanting utterance of the name, person becomes fully purified. Tashyak Tirtha Padaha and wherever he performs his pastimes, that becomes the place of, uh, the, that becomes the holy dham. So one who is a servant of such Lord, uh, what kind of Lord? Uh, whose name you chant, you become purified. He performs his pastimes and that place becomes Tirtha, the holy place. So one who has become servant, Das, and attained Das Prem, Das Shabhav, uh, what more he has to achieve? He has achieved everything, in other words. Dasya Dashyanam avishishyate avishishyate. What more needs he, he needs to achieve? He has achieved his his Lord, and that Lord is described by chanting his glories and what happens, and as he performs his pastimes, then that place becomes holy dham ki holy dham maya dham ki jaya. Um. So, uh, Prabhu kahe eho hoya vish kichu age ar. Oh, this is also okay, good, good. But is something more you could say? Raya kahe sakya prema sarva sadhyasar. Then he takes it one step higher, forward. And he says, sakya prem. And he had mentioned earlier, dasya prem. Now he says, Sakya Prem Sarva Sadhya Sar. The friendship, Sakya Bhav. And then he quotes this from Bhagavatam. Srila Prabhupada used to quote this all the time. Karta <clears throat> Punya. Punjaha. Look at this covered boy, friends of Lord Krishna. How much pious deeds they must have performed 
Krata punya punjaha, the heaps are mountain size. Accumulation of pious deeds he must have performed. As a result now, see, they are playing with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Lord has become their friend. This cannot be, this kind of friendship, this kind of Sakya Prem is not realized by someone. Brahma Sukhana Bhutya. Those who are practicing, yeah. Yeah, the Brahman realization, it is, they don't achieve this status. Dasyam Gatanam, neither those who are in the, the Dasas, Das Prem they have achieved. That's okay, Das Prem, but not like this Sakya Prem, which is superior. This is the point being made by Rai Ramanand. Prabhu Kahe Eho Uttam, oh, this is better. What you just mentioned is, is you are getting better. This is better. Eho uttam age kahar. Say something more. You have something more to say? Lord is very eager to hear something more, something higher, something superior. Raya kahe vatsalya prem sarva sadhyasar. After dasya. Prem, Sakya Prem, Vatsalya Prem. And then he cites another example or the verse, sloka. Nanda Hakima Karod Brahman, Sreya Evam Mahodayam. What? What is this result of? What, what did Nanda Maharaj do to get the Supreme Personality of Godhead to be, uh, appear as his child? And look, he's, he's crawling. The Supreme Brahman is crawling and uh, sometimes crying or doing this or that. Such a treasure he has attained, this Nanda Maharaj. What he had to do to, to be, have such a good fortune of, of getting Supreme Lord to, hmm, to be his child and then crawl in his courtyard. And Yashoda Chamahabhaga and look at the great good fortune of Yashoda. Papo Yasya Stanam Harihi The Hari Krishna, Baal Krishna, just right there in the lap of Yashoda and he's drinking her breast milk. Papo Yasya Harihi Stanam Hari. So he's Rai Ramananda is chanting the glories of is Vatsalya Prem and glories of those who had attained such Vatsalya Prem that is Nanda and Yashoda and here Sachimata and Jagannath Mishra and there Dasharat and like that each time Lord appears but when he appears as Narsimha <laughs> And the pillar. Then it says, Kanta Bhava, okay. Prabhu Kahe, Eho Uttam Age Kaha Ar. This is also good thing. We are getting better. Say something more. Raya kahe kanta bhava prema sadhyasar kanta bhav or gopi bhav or radha bhav or 
राधा कृष्ण प्रेम गोपी कृष्ण प्रेम सो मेनी नेम्स माधुर्य प्रेम श्रृंगार प्रेम और श्रृंगार रस माधुर्योज्वल सर्वरसार Yeah, this is the essence, essential practice in Vrindavan. Jaya Jaya Jwala Rasa Sarva Rasa Sar. And Parakiya Bhave Jaha Brajete Prachar. And this is practiced in Braj. Parakiya Bhave Jaha Brajete Prachar. So that... Uh, Yeah, so Braja Prem is also because of this Madhurya Prem, Madhurya Ras, Shrangar Ras, Kanta Bhav, Kanta Ras. <clears throat> and Rai Ramanan is hmm? ever ready. Huh? <laughs> and he's not... is not opening some scripture or oh, get me give me some time okay you want some example let me now find out some corresponding verse slok that you want to hear now it has is ever ready is he says okay dasya prem and then he has mantra to go with it vasale prem and his he has his mantra shloka is ready kanta bhav and he has his slok ready so uh, what does he say tasam smayamana bhuja kham bhuja so after yeah gopis had attempted to find krishna in the in the forest as he had mm, entered the forest and gopis were searching and and searching and searching and you know they had gone mad and they were you know asking the trees if someone is asking the trees couldn't that person be mad it's like oh tree oh tree oh this oh that and they were just they're just inquiring have you seen our krishna have you seen oh tulsi you are not very tall but you tree you are very tall so very wherever is our krishna now you must be seeing him could you please tell us anyway this is not what is i'm just saying something irrelevant also you could is related but so after searching and searching they and as they could not find him if krishna warns that someone doesn't find him krishna warns that someone does not find him is it possible to find him could that person find him if krishna has made up his mind okay for this person i will never ever be able to you will never find me this is it this is it anyway the, the good news is yeah, and krishna would love to love that if we could find him i'm i'm talking of all of us assembled here krishna would be very very happy if we could find him and it is also his will his wish that we find him and for that he does so many 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 things so that we could find him we could find him so uh so that time he did not want he wanted to hide and not be revealed he wanted to be concealed so then they decided 
go back to the banks of Jamuna. And they all sat down and they started singing. Jayate dhikam janmana braja And like that. And they went on and on. And that is known as Gopi Geet. And wherever devotees assemble, get together and chant his glories. I think this this dialogue is also part of that glory, supreme glory, glorious subject matter. Then Lord is supposed to be making his presence felt there where Yatramada Bhakta Gayanti Tatra Tishthami I could be found where my devotees get together and we could say Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, where they chant my holy name, which is Kirtan, which is full, it's a glorious. Each word says so much, when we say Hare, so much, so much glory in just one word. Na jane kiyad bhir. I don't know how much nectar is there. Dvai, hmm. this Krishna. How much nectar in these two words, not two syllables, one, this one name, there are 16 names. And there's so much, so much packed. <laughs> but as soon as we say Hare Krishna, or even say Krishna, Krishna. Actually, we said everything. We say, we say, okay, let's say, say, let me say, say Hare Krishna. By saying Hare, okay, you could also say Hare Krishna. You said everything. All that is to be said is said just by saying Hare Krishna. All these scriptures, all these slokas are contained in one sloka ultimately is Hare Krishna sloka. Hare Krishna mantra has everything. And in, in that Hare Krishna mantra is Krishna name, Krishna, so Krishna. When you say Krishna, you, you said everything. Hare, 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 Hare. Okay, so if we go with this speed, <laughs> then we'll have to, we need 10 days to even summarize I I did not cover what I wanted why I wanted to yesterday and today also I, I decide I have some idea how much ground to cover but I'm way behind <clears throat> so uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so uh, so then as they were singing this Geet call, which became known as Gopi Geet, and that is what uh, Rai Ramanan, he, is, he has recited, recited that slok. Then Krishna appeared, says, which one? Do I have the right page open? Let me make sure. Okay, got it. And then uh, Pitamba, so he, he describes, yeah, that verse describes Krishna. So when he 
appear in the midst, midst of gopis then the gopis Krishna gopis Krishna the way he's he looked like and dressed like and Pitambar he has, he has a garments dazzling shining like a lightning during the rainy season just not dull yellow garments but they're sh dazzling shining and he has a garland maybe Vaijayanti Mala is wearing which is reaching his knees and he is holding a flute and like that Barhapiram Natavaravapu Karnayo Karnikaram Vibhradvasa Kanakakabisham Vaijayanti Chamalam Veno Randhran Adhara Sudhaya Purayan Gopabrandai Vrindavanam Pravishad Gita Kirti This is also another which is not mentioned here but this is that Krishna of Gopis Krishna Radha's Krishna is like that Barha Piram Natavara Natavar is like an actor because the way he dresses meticulously dressing and okay so Purva Purva Rasera Guna Pare Pare Hoy this is Siddhant now uh, says Purva Purva Rasera Guna Pare Pare Hoy meaning well, it will take good few minutes to see the meaning now <laughs> there was no need for when Ramanan Rai said this Mahaprabhu understood this is it there's no need to explain it further but we are in need of that explanation so uh, the gun or the qualities or the characteristics of one frame dashyap Okay, I could say start with the uh, what's what's Prem? Vatsalya, the friendship. The friendship has qualities of Dasya included in the 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 Sakya Prem, Ariva someone is talking here. Hari Hari. And then the Vatsalya is parenthood. That Vatsalya Bha, Vatsalya Ras, Vatsalya Prem includes the qualities, the characteristic of Dasya and Sakya. You got it? Something like that? Yes? And now in the Madhurya Ras, Madhurya Prem, this includes the qualities of Shanta, Dasha, Sakya, Vatsalya this is all included in the Madhurya the conjugal dealings or Rasa or a Prema there's more and that, that way we will understand this concept and that way we will understand why the Madhurya Ras is supreme and complete and why that gives most pleasure to the Lord 
more more or more most pleasure compared to the other other rasas because that one includes all other rasas other mellows okay gunadhikke swada swada dhikya bade prati rase guna adhikke guna adhikya means adhik means additional hmm? you add uh, more gun the, the madhurya ras that gives most pleasure to the lord ka guna adhikya this gun this characteristic this quality dasya quality plus sakya quality plus vatsalya quality all that all in one hmm? like all in one and it has one additional feature which is gandha the fragrance the fragrance in earth that is me gandho aham prithviyam cha lord said it again in bhagavad gita prithviyam in in the earth gandha fragrance that is me so uh, so like that i think that should make it very clear understanding as in this context how this five rasas because this dialogue is also talking of rasa tattva different tattvas hmm? krishna tattva radha tattva rasa tattva and like that prema tattva परिपूर्ण कृष्ण प्राप्ति यही प्रेम होते यही प्रेमारवश कृष्ण कहे भागवते सो सो दिस कॉन्जुगो श्रृंगार रस और मेलो प्रेम दिस इज परिपूर्ण दिस इज कंप्लीट and this is the highest this is the topmost and in bhagavat says lord is lord be, is controlled he could be controlled by by this this rasa this bhav madhurya bhav madhurya ras the power that this rasa has prabhu kahe ei sadhya vadhi sunishchay kripa kari kah yadi age kichu hoy and lord is saying okay okay this uh, certainly this is the extent of the the sadhya or the essence or the the yeah the uh, the destination or the target uh, that was a question uh, what is sadhya sadhira nirnay conclusion about the sadhya the goal okay goal the different So Mahaprabhu says, "Yes, yes, this is the limit. Madhurya ras, Madhurya bhav, Madhurya prem. That level is is the limit. But if there is anything more, you could say so. And uh, <coughs> yeah, Ramanand Rai has so much more to say on this." subject matter prabhu kahe aage kah sunite pai sukhe i want to happily hear you i am i am relaxed i am i am not in hurry you just go on you speak अपूर्वामृत नदी बहे तुम मुखे एंड लेट दी 
the river uh, of nectar flow from your mouth and I'm here a recipient of that nectar I will drink it all something like that and uh, yeah so we've Ebe jani lo sadhya sadhana nirnoy so sadhya sadhan another thing yeah. <coughs> with the sadhya goal is always means so means is called sadhan and the goal is called sadhya and one who practices sadhana or the means is called sadhak huh? we are all who are we all of us we are sadhakas because we practice sadhana and by practicing sadhana the sadhya the goal is achieved so Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says yes I have understood sadhya and sadhan I have understood the means and the goal Krishnaira Swarupa Hoyo Kaha Radhara Swarupa Rasa Kona Tattva Prema Kona Tattva Rupa So he is bringing up the subject matters Krishna Swarupa and Radha Swarupa and Ras, Rasa Tattva and Prema Tattva Kripa kariyai tattva kohat amare toma bina keha iha nirupite nare And he says, except you, I don't see anyone who could throw light on these subject matters or talk on this subject. Tumiyai kahao Okay, raya kahe iha ami kichu ina jani And Rai Ramanan's response You want to know about this tattva, that tattva, rasa tattva, prema tattva, krishna tattva Oh no, 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 I, I don't, I don't know anything about these matters Having said so, he does say something more. Tomara Sikhaya Sikshaya Padi Yena Shukapart Sakshata Ishvara Tomike Bhuje Tomara Nart says that uh, says I'm I'm just a parrot. Whatever the master of the parrot uh, makes the parrot say ram, parrot say ram, and the parrot just says ram, ram. So I am I am that kind of. That's my position. I'm shook apart. I I will just I just repeat like a parrot. But who is the speaker? Hmm? You are the speaker. Well, my mouth is used and mouth is like a speaker but is mouth the actual speaker? Think about this. Okay. Is this Ahuja sound system? Or Bose? Or Do we say today's at uh, Utsal, Shravana Utsal. Today's speaker is Ahuja. The Ahuja sound system or Ahuja speaker. Uh, the Bose, they have so many brands. No. No, we, we say tonight's speaker is Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj. Because unless someone speaks into the mic, 
what good are those speakers? The speakers will not speak. Are they speaking? They are not speaking. Unless someone speaks into the mic, the speakers don't speak. So likewise, our, our mouth appears to be speaking, but the actual speaker is not the mouth. We could say actual speaker is a, is a soul. And in this case, in this dialogue, the actual speaker is a supreme soul. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu ki. And this is what hmm, the apparently the speaker is Rai Ramanan, but he says, no, no, I am not the speaker. No, no, not me. It's you. Sakshata Ishvara Tvami Ke Bujhe Tamara Naat Ridaye Prerana Kara Jivara Kahavani Ki Kahiye Bhala Manda Kichoyi Na Jani So you are, you are inspiring me to speak and then my jiva, my my tongue hmm, talks. My 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 mouth is opened, and I I appear to be speaking, but actually you are you are the speaker. Prabhu ka he Maya Vadi ami to sanyasi. I am Maya Vadi, I am Maya Vadi. Bhakti tattva nahi jani maya vadi bhasi. I don't know. I am maya vadi. I don't know bhakti tattva. Sarabhoma sange mora mana nirmala hoila. I spent some time in Jagannath Puri with, uh, with Saram Bhattacharya. As a result, I become a little purified, nirmal. Krishna bhakti tattva kaha tomara tahate puchila. And then I had requested Saram Bhattacharya. Now please speak to me this Krishna Bhakti Tattva. But he said, Ami Nahi Jani Krishna Katha Sabe Ramananda Ramananda Jane. <laughs> but he said to me in Jagannath Puri uh, Sarum Bhattacharya. He doesn't know. I don't know. He said Sarum Bhattacharya. I don't know. Everything is known. Who knows? Rai Ramanan knows. That's why you, you go meet him. You make sure you meet him. I don't know. You go during your travels. You, you speak to him. He will tell you everything. This is what I was told. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says. That is the reason I have come. And I'm here now. And... Uh, Please speak. And do not think, uh, because you know, I am a sannyasi, Chaitanya, Sri Krishna Chaitanya, sannyasi. No, no, don't think that way. And you are, you are Shudra, and I am a, how could I speak to sannyasi? So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is talking that Siddhant, very famous one. You are familiar with this. This is where it, it appears in Chaitanya Charita Amrit. Kiva Vipra, Kiva Nyasi, Shudra Kene Noi, Jai Krishna Tattva Veta Sai Guru Hoi. Are you familiar with this? So, Chaitanya Mahav, uh, doesn't matter. Vipra, learned Sanyasi or a Shudra, whosoever he may be, by his births, if he knows, if he is Krishna Tattva Veta, if he is knower of the Krishna Tattva, Krishna Siddhant, science of Krishna, Sai Guru Hoy, then he is fit. He is fit to be Guru. So you know Krishna Tattva, so you are Guru. 
So you, you have to teach me. You must teach me. Raya kahe ami not, not all. I, you have to say, not, I will, I will not understand probably when I say not, not all. Tvami sutradhar yai mato nachao sai mato nachi chahi nachi baro There's a sutradhar Yeah, like a like a veena So you you play Anyway, you you like, and let my more jiva vina yantra tumi vina adhari. Says my my tongue is like a vina yantra vina vina you know you know like a sitar vina that family the string instrument vina. So my my tongue is vina yantra vina. And you are Vinadhari, and you are the player. Hmm? You just, you play. The way you play, I will play. I will get that sound out of my strings or my jiva. Tomara mane jayi uthe tahai uchari. So, origin of what I say will be coming right out of your heart and the mind and I'm just outlet I'm just a so-called speaker but all those thoughts all the speech tomara mane jai uthe whatever arises emanates from from your mind, uh, Lord's mind, Lord's heart, Lord's soul. There's no there's no difference. Tahahi <clears throat> uchai, and that way I will I will recite. Yatasuni Prabhu Tahara Kaila Alingon. So, like that. Each night they would get together, spend just a good time, good time talking. And that's life. That's. And that is what also goes on in the spiritual sky. And where, wherever they were, two of these personalities were together and talking. That was spiritual sky. That was the yeah. I I mentioned that on the banks of Godavari, where the dialogue took place, and. Uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu revealed Radha and Krishna form unto uh, Rai Ramanand. That place they they say while I was there I heard this. They said this is this is Dakshin Vrindavan. This is Vrindavan of the South. Because Lord has not displayed his Radha Krishna form only in Vrindavan, Mathura Vrindavan, Vrindavan, Braj. And then when he appeared here or arrived here as Chaitanya and then he again, this is another place. Vrindavan is one, it's another place where he revealed his Radha Krishna form. So this is Vrindavan. This is Vrindavan of the south. This is what they are claim. And there's a there's a temple. So so that is where the dialogue was going on. So certainly 
that became a holy place. We just heard also, Rai Ramanand, wherever Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, our Lord, performs his pastimes. That place is Tirtha, so that has become Tirtha. Oh, uh, so they would get together and have a samvad, talks, and then towards the end it says, Dui jane gala gali kare nakrandan. They used to uh, embrace each other. It says gala gali. <laughs> gala means neck. Huh? Neck this way and other person's neck here and then here. You understand gala gali? Yes, in gala gali. You also do sometimes. Gala gali. The deep embrace is there and also gala gali. So Rai Ramanand and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu doing the gala gali, my watch has gone. Eimata uh, prema veshe ratri goaila. So all night, nights they would be spending like that. And then, Pratakali nijo nijo karyedu i gela. And then, nijo karye, they would. Uh, go to their respective places, locations, and stay busy in their own ways. Rai Ramanand is a governor, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Sanyasi he is doing his bhajan, sadhan, chanting, dancing. And then, Smaraj here, 7 o'clock. Vidaya samaye prabhura charane dhariya Ramananda raya kahe menati kariya So when they would conclude their talks, so just before going, Rai Ramananda would you know, fall at the feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and uh, is making a special request. More kripa karite tomara iha agaman dina dasa rahi shodha mora dushtaman. You have come? Kindly you have come. So please. Stay here for ten or so days, ten days, to do what? To purify my wicked mind. Shodha mora dushtaman. Toma vina anya nahi jiva udharite. Toma vina anya nahi krishna prema dite. And I don't see anyone in the universe who would uh, liberate or lift, purify the souls by giving them Krishna Prem. And thus that is why you have appeared Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema What? Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Namaha And this prayer which talks of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's Nam Rup Gun Lila. 
there's one little little but it appears to be little but it's not a little one it's a big one the verse talks of Lord's name Lord's form Lord's qualities Lord's pastimes how does it say all this in one sloka Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne this is the name part Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne you your name is Krishna Chaitanya you are original Krishna but Krishnaya now you have become Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Krishna you are Krishna but what kind of Krishna Krishna Chaitanya kind of Krishna your name is Krishna Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Krishna Krishna whose name is Sri Krishna Chaitanya that is your name Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Vishe Gaurat Vishe Tvisha Tvisha is effulgence and what kind of effulgence Gaurat Vishe Namaha golden effulgence so that is your form as Krishna you are Sham Sundar and now you are what kind of Sundar are you now? You are taking so much time. Our Sundar ke. So this is your Saundariya. Your form is golden. Of the golden complexion. So there is a name and there is a form. And then his gun is, what is his gun? The quality is Namo Mahavadanyaya. I offer my obeisances unto you. What kind of you? You Namo Mahavadanyaya. Oh, most magnanimous Lord. This is the magnanimity, is the quality of. Yes? Any Maharaj has arrived? Uh, let me know. Is not just now coming? Someone says five minutes, someone says he is here. And here, as soon as we say your name, you appeared. I'm done, I'm done. And uh, yeah, so uh, the, the goon quality is magnanimity, is a quality of Sri Krishna Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And what is his Leela? Krishna Prema Pradayate. <clears throat> is a deliverer, is a giver of Krishna Prem. Hmm? This is his pastime. So this way, in this famous prayer, Namo Mahavadanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate. Krishna ya Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Vishain Namaha. Yeah, so this prayer talks of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's name, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's form, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's qualities, qualities, especially one predominant quality, his magnanimity, and then finally his, his Leela, his pastime, which is. Krishna Prema Prada Prada Pradaya Krishna Prema the the giver of Krishna Prem. Yeah, so he is giving all that Prem to Rai Ramanan in this dialogue and uh, we are being benefited. So dialogue to be continued. Uh, tomorrow would be our third and last presentation so see you then and here I go Premanandi
Asun. Hare Krishna. So, how is the Shravanits, Shravan Utsav going? So, are you drinking nectar? How are you drinking it? Three years, yeah. Today, if I sing one bhajan, <coughs> 